I'm here with artist extraordinaire Ryan Benjamin. Ryan, how you doing today? Doing okay. Is it a good signing so far? <laughs> yes, yeah, it's pretty good. It's pretty yeah, good. Yeah, doing good. Now you, you worked on this little thing called Wildcats with this guy. I've never heard of him. Name's Alan Moore. Like uh, for anyone who's heard of him, whatever. What's it like to get a script and just be a part of something with someone like Alan Moore? Oh uh, man, it's it's. At the time uh, when I was when I was working on that, it was it was amazing. It was amazing because um, just coming off of uh, you know, you know, you know, right on Jim Lee's coattail, you know, it's it, it was it, it's it's amazing. It's like yeah, you, you, I, I can't explain it. You know, you just it's one of those things that when I look at it, it's like there's 50,000 other people right now trying to be where I'm at so I you know I, I, I have to stay on point you know and that's so that's 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 kind of that's what I keep in the back of my mind as I as I go forward you know but just for the opportunities just to be there yeah to I I can't really explain it it's just, it's just amazing amazing do you have that uh, script framed <laughs> um, no, uh, I don't think so it's, it's if I do it's probably <laughs> honestly it's probably in my garage somewhere <laughs> I don't know Oh, it's probably is, but now you've worked with a lot of uh, like big art or uh, big writers like uh, Grant Morrison, Jeff Johns. Who who haven't you worked with yet that you'd love to have the opportunity to? Oh, if wow, it, oh dude, because uh, you know after Alan Moore, you know where, where else can you go? Oh, uh, you know what? Honestly, I uh, do you get? I'm, I'm kind of stuck on that one, isn't okay, it? All right, all right. Because right, right now I'm because uh, uh, I'm not typically a writer, mm -hmm. but I'm trying to to write. So I'm I'm learning as I'm going, and I'm learning from a lot of people. For, so just from working with all these guys for all these years, and I I, I'm, I looked at the process, at how how they they've done things. You know, I'm taking the framework and putting all the ideas I had in my mind in that framework and just, yeah, and just, yeah. just kind of going with yeah. it, you know. So that's kind of how I'm doing things right now. And that's kind of where Pancratia came, came, came from, was for me just creating stuff and thinking of that. And, and there's just still some, some holes. And, and I, have, I have friends, really close friends of mine, who are writers that I work with. And they, you know, they came in on the back end and they helped me, you know, structure everything out, you know. So, so it's, it's, it's cool to have, you know, People around me that's like that, you know. That can help. That can help, and yeah. And uh, seeing thousands of scripts throughout, you know, your lifetime, I'm sure you can tell and see what works and what doesn't work necessarily. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, this is, yeah, there's, there's a lot of scripts out there that, that just doesn't do it for me, you know. Uh, I've actually been on a couple of books that, uh, while I'm drawing, I'm like, what, what, what is this? What, you know, and you just think about it, and I just kind of like do whatever. You know, but I, I I know what it's like. I know what it's like. Now, where? How did you get into comics? Like, was it a, in childhood? Was it later on? I really liked comics when I was young. When I was real, real young. I remember way back when I was a, real, a young kid, probably eight or so. Spider-Man was the thing for me. I used to run home and. You know, to watch the Spider-Man cartoons and, uh, and and the the TV show, the live-action show. Oh, yeah, I remember that one. Yeah, I remember that one. And then the Hulk, and I used to run home to watch uh, the Super Friends and all that stuff. So, but but Spider-Man was the one that kind of stuck stuck to me the most. And 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 I and I used to just draw him all the time. Him and the Hulk. Those are the two I used to draw all the time. And and uh, um and. It kind of stuck with me for, for throughout the years, and then it kind of it kind of faded back, and the, the fine art of of the whole thing kind of kind of crept crept through. I started painting more. I started doing more more uh, more sketching, more more like uh, 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 the, instead of the hatching, I would I would use a lot of my 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 my, my thumb a lot, my fingers a lot, I'd try to blend do all the different, different kind of blends, and. Um, and then eventually, you know, my art teacher in high school kind of nurtured me. She she saw where I was and she saw what I was doing, and she kind of took took that and kind of like she helped me out. She helped me structure a lot of, a lot of my, my my art and a lot of my thinking. And then and then when I went to college, you know, it just I was already already trained through this this certain art process. So when I was went to college, 
I kind of knew like half of what they were already teaching me. And and so most of the time I kind of goofed off in class or I would, or people would come to me, hey, Ryan, how do I do this? And I'm like, dude, you, you, you there's an instructor, or you come to me, you know? And they would come to me and I would help them out. And then, um, and then eventually, when uh, when I got the opportunity to actually get into comics, uh, was was what, what what really kicked in my mind was um, when I saw Jim Lee's X Men number one. That was that was the thing for me. I that was when my heart dropped, and I was like, oh okay, I think this. I think I know exactly what I want to do because you know, you ever, all the, when you're younger, you and you know, that's how I felt. I felt like I was young and I and I had the talent, but I didn't know what I wanted to do with it. There's something like X-Men number one comes along and, and then, then goes, hey, and it's, like it, it was a slap in the face. <laughs> and then that, that was it for me. And I was like, okay, I, I want to draw comics. Mm -hmm. This is it. And I was hanging out with Brett Booth a lot. And, uh, and, and we used to hang out at this comic book store with him and, and Sean Ruffner. And we used to just hang out there, just, just sit there and just draw all day long and sit in the store. And then, and then, uh, and then when Brett got, got the job at Wildstorm at uh, Image Comics, or yeah, we'll, we'll call it Image. <laughs> and uh, I was gonna say, have, have a different name for it, but it's okay. But uh, 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 Brett got the job out there, and um, and then when he got it, I'm like, wow, if he can do this, I can do this. And that's it. That's it. That 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 hit a, another switch in my head. And then I literally quit college, and I just sat at home and just practiced and practiced and practiced and practiced. And it took about six months of practicing, and that's all I did. That was it. I just. So I would go to sleep, I'd wake up, and I'm right at my art table. And I would start drawing, I wouldn't hang out on the weekends, I wouldn't party, I wouldn't do none of that stuff. I wouldn't go, I wouldn't go to the beach, I was in Miami, you know, the beach is right, and I wouldn't even go to the beach. I'm like, I don't have time, I gotta draw. And I would just sit there and just draw and draw and draw and draw and draw and practice and practice. And it took about six times of me submitting art to, to, to Wildstorm, you know, Jim Lee would look at it, he was like, oh, this is great, you know, but, this is great, but, you know, and all the butts kept hitting me in the head, like, what am I doing wrong? What am I doing wrong? And then, then one day I just, I just tried it out. I tried something different, and I sent it off to him, and then, sure enough, Jim called me, and that was history, you know, and that's it. So the, the, the key that you would recommend to anyone who wants to be an artist or a writer is just keep practicing, keep writing, keep drawing every day. Keep practicing. Don't ever give up. Don't ever quit. Um, uh, even though, even though it's like you're, you're the way I look at it, I could be working at 7-Eleven. When I come home from 7-Eleven, I'm gonna go draw. You know, a lot of the, they're friends of mine. There are people I know right now that that are out there that are, you know, they 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 on the weekends they they, they like to draw, but on the weekends they go to bars and they hang out and they do this and they do that. They always find something else to do, but they're not drawing. You know, and I'm like. Okay, that's why you're not progressing. You're not putting that time into it. You got to put that. You got to put the love into it, and it'll love you back. That's the way I look at it, you know. And I just, you just got to stick with it, you know, and keep, 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 keep trucking for it. Another thing, what I don't do, is that I, I don't, I don't get comfortable. Once you get comfortable, you die. Let me explain it. Oh, you mean style-wise? Style-wise, direction-wise, just, just the whole throughout your whole thing. Just like as a career, just to, just to put it that way. If you, your your career, once you get comfortable, that's when that's when you sit back and you just like ah, okay, I don't have to worry anymore. I have a steady paycheck, uh, and I'll just go I'll just I'll just go with the flow. And in the moment someone lays you off or you you you're, you're fired, you're just you're like whoa. Okay, I gotta find a job again, and you're jumping around. That's because you got comfortable, and then now the, the the now you're in a shocker mode, and and you have nothing to fall back on. So so I like to stay on point constantly. I like to stay where, even though everything's a good, things are going great, I don't, I, I kind of push that aside, and I look at it like I gotta I gotta find something else some, something else to do. I gotta look for something new to work on. I gotta look for that, and I'm constantly doing this, constantly doing. That's why. I have about seven or eight projects I'm working on at any given time of the day. I'm, I'm constantly doing something. I just don't get comfortable. I'm always, three of them can drop and that's whatever. I have, I have others that's in my back pocket that I can pull out, you know? So that's, that's the way I kind of look at things.